In this tutorial, we're going to go over physics problems associated with angular speed and angular velocity. So let's start with this one. The frequency of a spinning wheel is 30 hertz. If the diameter of the wheel is 50 centimeters, what is the angular speed of the wheel in radians per second? So what equation do we need to calculate the angular speed? The angular speed is represented by this equation, omega. It's equal to 2 pi f. You can also use that equation to calculate the angular velocity. So we have the frequency. The frequency is 30 hertz. And the frequency represents the number of cycles that occur per unit time. So in this case, the cycles are rotations or revolutions. So if the frequency is 30 hertz, that means that the wheel makes 30 revolutions every second. Now when you think of 2 pi, what do you think of? One revolution around a circle is equal to 360 degrees. And 360 degrees is 2 pi radians because 180 is equal to pi. So one revolution around a circle is 2 pi radians. So omega is equal to 2 pi radians per revolution multiplied by the frequency, which is 30 revolutions per second. So notice that the unit revolutions cancel. I want to set it up in such a way so you can see how frequency can give you the angular speed in radians per second. So in this example, it's 2 pi times 30. So omega is going to be 60 pi radians per second. Now, if you want to get the decimal value of that, this is going to be 188.5 radians per second. So that's the angular speed in this problem. Now let's move on to part B. What is the period? The period is the time divided by the number of cycles that occurs. So if we have 30 cycles that occur in one second, then the period is one second per 30 cycles. In this case, 30 revolutions. So period is simply 1 over f, is the reciprocal of the frequency. So 1 divided by 30 is 0 0.033 seconds. So what that means is that the will makes one revolution in 0 0.033 seconds. So the period tells you the time it takes to make one revolution or one complete cycle around a circle. Whereas the frequency tells you the number of cycles that can be made in one second. So in one second, the wheel is going to spin 30 times. That's the frequency. And the period tells you that the wheel will spin once every 0 0.033 seconds. So hopefully this clarifies the definition between period and frequency. So frequency tells you how many cycles will occur in one second, and the period tells you how long it takes just to make one cycle. Number two, what is the linear speed of a wheel that is rotating at 25 radians per second? And we're given the radius of the wheel. It's 30 centimeters. So how can we find the linear speed of the wheel, given its rotational speed of 25 radians per second? So what should we do? The equation that we need is this equation, v is equal to omega times r. So all it is is just omega, which is 25, multiplied by the radius of the wheel, but we need that in meters. So to convert 30 centimeters into meters, divided by 100. 30 divided by 100 is 0 0.30. So 25 times 0.3 is 7.5. So the linear speed is 7.5 meters per second. Now let's make sense of the units. So omega was in radians per second. And the radius, I like to think of it as the length per radian. 
So the radius is 0.3 meters, but it's really 0.3 meters per radian. And so this will give you 7.5 meters per second. Now for those of you who want to know why I like to think of the radius as being the length per radian, here's why. Let's say if we draw an arc. So this is going to be S, the arc length. And this is the angle theta, and this is the radius of the circle. The arc length is equal to the angle in radians times the radius of the circle. So if you solve for R, the radius is the arc length divided by the angle. So let's say if we have an arc length of 30 meters, and let's say the angle is 2 radians. So it's going to be 30 meters per 2 radians. So the radius will be 15 meters per radian. So what does this mean? This is the arc length when the angle is 1 radian. So when the angle was 2 radians, the arc length was 30 meters. Now, if you reduce the angle to 1 radian, the arc length will be equal to the radius, which is 15 meters. I wrote minutes for some reason, but let's uh, correct that. So that's why I like to think of the radius as being the arc length when the angle is 1 radian. So I think of it as meters per radian. So all of this leads me to the conclusion that one radian is equal to the length of the radius. So when the angle is one radian, the arc length of the circle is equal to the length of the radius of the circle, which in this example is 15 meters. So this is useful for conversions. Let's say if I want to convert linear speed from radians per second to rotations per minute or revolutions per minute. So knowing the conversion factor between radians and meters is very useful and it's equal to the radius of the circle. So let's say if the radius of the circle is 8 meters, I can come up with this conversion. One radian represents an arc length of 8 meters if the radius is 8 meters. So the radius would be 8 meters per radian. Let's work on number 3. A disk spins at a rate of 5,000 radians every 10 minutes. What is the angular velocity of the disk in radians per second? So to calculate the angular velocity, we can use this equation. It's the angular displacement divided by the change in time. The angular displacement is the amount that the disk spins in radians. So it spins a distance of 5,000 radians. And we have the time, which is 10 minutes, but we need that in seconds. Now, one minute is equal to 60 seconds, which means that 10 minutes is 60 times 10, or 600 seconds. So the disk spins 5,000 radians every 600 seconds. So therefore, the angular velocity is 8.33 radians per second. So that's it for part A. Now let's move on to part B. What is the linear velocity of the disk in meters per second if the diameter of the disk is 20 centimeters? So we're given the diameter of the disk is 20 centimeters. Now we need to use that to find the radius. The radius of the disk has to be half of the diameter, so it's 10 centimeters. So we can say the radius is 10 centimeters per radian. So that means the length of one radian, or one radian has an arc length of 10 centimeters. But we need to convert centimeters into meters, so we've got to divide that by 100. So that's 0.1 meters per radian. So now let's calculate the linear velocity. So V is equal to omega times R. Omega is 8.33 radians per second, and the radius 
is 0.1 meters per radian. So the arc length is 0.1 meters when the angle is 1 radian. So these two will cancel, and then we'll have the units in meters per second. So 8.33 times 0.1 is simply 0.833 meters per second. So this is the answer to part B. Now let's move on to part C. What is the angular velocity of the wheel in rotations per minute? which is equivalent to revolutions per minute. So how can we find that answer? So all we gotta do is convert the angular velocity from radians per second to rotations per minute or simply revolutions per minute. So how can we go about doing that? Well, let's start with what we have, 8.33 radians per second. Now, we can convert seconds into minutes. 60 seconds is equal to one minute. So the unit seconds cancel. Next, we can convert radians to revolutions. So it's 2 pi radians per revolution. I need to put radians on the bottom. So one revolution is equal to two pi radians. And so now we have the unit revolutions per minute, which is basically RPMs. So it's 8.33 times 60 divided by two pi. And so this is going to be 79.5 rotations per minute. And that's the answer. So here's the last question for this video. A wheel with a radius of 1.4 meters spins at an angular speed of 45 rotations per minute, or revolutions per minute. What is the linear speed of the wheel in miles per hour? Go ahead and try this problem. So let's convert it from revolutions per minute to miles per hour. So we have 45 revolutions per minute. Now we need to convert minutes to hours. 60 minutes is equivalent to one hour. So that's the first thing we could do. Now how do we convert revolutions to miles? Well first we need to convert revolutions to radians. One revolution around a circle is two pi radians. So we can cancel the unit revolutions. Now, how do we go from radians to meters? The radius will help us to do so. The radius is 1.4 meters. So it's really 1.4 meters per radian. So what this means is that if we have an angle of one radian, the arc length is going to be 1.4 meters. So the radius connects the angle with the arc length. So an angle of one radian equates to an arc length of 1.4 meters, so we can cancel the unit radians. So now we have meters. Let's convert meters to kilometers. A thousand meters is equal to one kilometer. And one kilometer is 0.6214 miles. Now you can look up these conversions online, or hopefully you know them already. So meters cancel, and also kilometers cancel. So what we have left over is miles per hour. So it's 45 times 60 times 2 pi times 1.4 divided by a thousand multiplied by 0 0.6214. So the wheel is moving at a linear speed of 14.76 miles per hour. So that's the answer.